hello people so I'm gonna be hold on. It's raining outside because some got on my lens. So I'm gonna be blowing this um kicker comp sub still a bunch of stuff on the lens and the lighting's terrible in here. So I'm gonna be blow this with a 200 watt Oh my god, okay, what am I saying? This is like a 200 watt Yamaha and, and I'm using test tones because the freaking music is probably too loud for that. I'll try using music, but also likely I'll have to use um, test tones. So I'm going to start off with the music. Keep in mind this receiver is 200 watts and the sub can handle up to 800 at peak, I think. It was beat up, so no use. Hope I don't mess up the amp by doing this. Oh, that coil is blackened. So if it pops back into place, it's about to be so loud. It's not smoking. Oh, yeah, it is. Ooh. It is smoking. Oh, smoking. Oh, you can kind of like see. This is this is the lighting. That's all. And this SD card. I had like two stars on Amazon, and I didn't see that until like after I had bought it. God, I can't. Oh yeah, it's smoking. No, it's coming from here. Oh, oh my god, I am impressed. Ooh, ooh. I'm surprised more is coming out of these holes than when it's literally like free opening. It's like it's about to die. It just died, and it put the receiver in protect. Like cookies. Good thing is outside it been terrible. Ooh. Oh, that is a. I am impressed with this thing because it's lightly warm. Oh wow, that is impressive. Wow. I am so shocked to see that a two eight. I don't know what the hell heck, heck that retard scream was, but I'm shocked to see that a freaking 800 watt sub got blown with like a 200 watt amp, and I think it's only like probably like 100 on a channel, and it's raining again. I so I'm gonna see if I can. That's the coil looks like. This is a Sony cabinet sub. It's the model. I was gonna use this, but I already have it hooked up to like a garage system. And up there and two down there and plus that i that's literally my main for blowing speakers so i had to give that thing a break and i actually never blew a speaker with this amp
because it literally it like glitches and it has problems. So I thought it'd probably like die, but power wise, good. But just like the freaking software they used in it to like home theater, just bad. That was actually pretty good. Oh well, I'll probably reuse this cabinet though. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I only have one. I think I, yeah, I actually broke the other one somehow. Like, I actually had the, I actually had this, this sub in the other cabinet that broke and thing, thing was like it wasn't like fully. It was did they didn't do a good glue job on the back, and the back just like blew off while I was blasting it and these side piece pieces like fell down from the front weight of the sub and stuff yeah but that, i am actually impressed it did a phenomenal job that amp i still can't believe i actually that thing was able to pull pull that off with just like a hundred watts and this is rated for 800 but that's peak though. 400 is just like um, like RMS, and it's four ohms, so it was actually pretty safe to blow on that too. If it was like two, the receiver probably would have popped. I was wondering why this thing didn't get like so loud, and it was probably because it's four ohm sub. The lower the ohm. The impedance on the sub, the, the like more bass it'll have. Oh, it's actually still warm. That's like enough of fooling around with this thing. Alright, so yeah, that's that.